My name is Alf Taylor, I live in West Gosford. Gosford means to me a place that has just about everything you would possibly need, apart from it being one of the most beautiful parts of the state. As I've often said, if you saw this scenery around here in Europe, you'd rave about it and the camera wouldn't stop clicking. Um, but often when you live in a place, you take it for granted. But this is a beautiful place. I've been involved in quite a few activities in the community. Um, coming here first of all on the staff of Gosford High School where I stayed for a couple of years. Um, then uh, I moved to Pete Island School down the Hawkesbury River. I was principal there for five years or so. And so education was uh, my background. And uh, then I was appointed to Gosford East Primary School as principal where I stayed for 14 years. And, the big thing there for me was not only the um, aspects of education, primary education at that time, but we were able to establish a unit for physically handicapped uh, students at the school, and that was the first for New South Wales. Joined the Gosford Musical Society, where I was active uh, both on stage and uh, behind the scenes also. I was able to participate and be the sort of designer, if you like, of the what we call the Youth and Performing Arts Program, which was a, a program established in, or started in 1992 to highlight youth on the Central Coast with particular talent in the performing arts. I've been a lay preacher in the Uniting Church at Gosford for, or in the, the church for many, many years. In early 1980, 1981 it was, I then became, uh, with my wife, we became uh, telephone counsellors with Lifeline and we both continued on in that activity uh, both serving about 25 years as telephone counsellors. The Lifeline experience, uh, I've got to be honest here, I look upon that as part of my Christian uh, service to the community. Uh, it came through my, my involvement with church and uh, my uh, uh, fairly strong faith and uh, it's been an important part of my life and so out of that Lifeline was an opportunity to do something for other people. It became a, an unusual situation whereby you, you had the privilege to share in people's problems. And I look upon it as a privilege. Sometimes it was a pleasure because there were happy things too. But it was a privilege to share in people's lives and experiences. Uh, but it was also an opportunity to, to grow yourself because this idea of sharing and, and uh, giving and taking is a very important part of life I think and uh, um, we like to hope that over the years you've been able to uh, be a source of some kind of strength or guidance or help or whatever to somebody at their time of particular need. It, it was a, a pleasure if you like, a pleasant activity but it could be quite a wearing and taxing, uh, particularly when you find people at the very end of, of their hope. And uh, that's why I became particularly interested in suicide intervention and did special training. And I then became responsible for the training of the telephone counsellors within Lifeline uh, in suicide intervention techniques. And so I did that for, I don't know, a number of years, maybe. 10 years or something. Well, it taught me straight away not to judge people, except anybody, uh, no matter what, because each person has their story and uh, you can't possibly uh, understand some people's backgrounds or what they've had to go through and what they've had to cope with and what coping mechanisms they've had to put into their lives to help them get through. To, to get the Citizen of the Year was quite a surprise. Um, it was a humbling experience because I suddenly saw all these other people and heard all the things they were doing and realised that, you know, I'm just one of a big number of people in this community doing wonderful things. So there has to be this, this opportunity for people to get together, to do things and enjoy things together, but there also has to be an opportunity for individuals to, to grow within themselves. And I think that to me is a sense of community. It's a sharing, but it's also a taking. And you, you take from it the things that help you to grow 
so that you then can be more valuable to the people that you're associating with. People have got to learn to live with people. Um, we're human beings and we have to share. We are made to be social and we need to be social and sociable uh, and encourage the development of everybody in the community.